This week on the Double T Insider, we sit down with Red Raider basketball's Jay Crockett and learn his thoughts on the season. We go on the court with Minta Spears in this week's Don't Sweat the Technique. And we go one-on-one -on -one with Corey Wagner and learn what it's like to be the masked rider. All that and a whole lot more. This is the Double T Insider. Hello and welcome into another edition of the Double T Insider. I'm Caitlin Kravick alongside Brett Brown, bringing you the inside access into Texas Tech athletics. Known for his slam dunks on the court, Red Raider basketball player Jay Crockett sat down with the Double T Insider. Hear Jay's take on the season and much more. Jay Crockett from Clovis, New Mexico, uh, small four. Well, I first got into basketball just being a kid, you know, playing in the front yard and stuff. And then uh, my mom just signed me up to play like for the Little League. And after that, I just kind of stuck with it and it just became something I loved. My favorite thing about playing at Tech is, uh, I mean, like we're the only like professional sport here. So we're, I mean, we're not in Dallas, so they don't have the Mavericks and the Cowboys and stuff like that. So I feel like it's a lot of love that you get just from the community and, and the students as well. And it's just a lot of people that support you and what you're doing. I mean, I've had like a new team every year, but uh, some people that's been here is like Tolbert, uh, Todrick Gocher, Clark Lambert, uh, Dayon Kravitz. Those are people that, that, that were here for at least like two or three years that I kind of grown close to. But Recently, like I've been, I like hang out with Aaron Ross and Dusty like all the time. I'm with them like most of the time. So I mean, I'm, I'm close to everybody. We all like go to get together, go to main event or something like that, and, and we stay like right next to each other. And our apartments are all close, so we kind of just hang out a lot. Uh, you just have to get used to change. You know, I think it just kind of helped me just be able to adapt quickly because I mean, most people, I mean, they just give up and want to leave. But I mean, I think it makes you tough in life because I mean, life's gonna throw a bunch of crazy things at you, and it's just like how you handle them. And, and I think it, that that just helped me just be the person that I am today. I think it's Coach Smith and his staff. I mean, they just have a lot of, I mean, they just have organization. It's just the way that he just runs his whole staff the same way he runs his team. And he just wants us to come in and, and have that attitude like we're winners. Cause I mean, he's a winner. So he just kind of instilled that in us. And we just kind of, we just kind of took things from him. We're trying to learn and, and as much as possible in this little quick year that we have. So staying motivated and, and not giving up. Cause I mean, we, we were, or four and six right now, so we know that we can build on that. You know, anything's possible. We're trying to get the postseason play, and we we know we have to get some wins. We have to go on a streak. And it's going to be tough in this conference, I mean, because it's it's a fight every single night. So we have to make sure that we come out focused every day in practice, and it just carries carries over to the game. Staying focused on the future, and, and I mean, and the present. You know, because we've had some games, some tough losses, and, and you kind of dwell on those, but you have to move past them and just go forward and and just try to get better each day in practice to focus on the next opponent you have. Uh, I have to say, probably that Oklahoma State game. That was it was a, a tough game that we needed. We had a, a like a whole week off, so a lot of teams they lose focus. But I mean, we just stayed focused that whole week. We worked hard, and, and it paid off when we got the win. It's great, and the fans came out. And they've been showing a lot of support, and they just make it a, a better environment. And you just want to play harder when you know the fans are out here. They just give you that energy, and it's great. It's just a great experience. It's like it's what college basketball is supposed to be like. But we don't have a game. I try to get as much sleep as possible. You know, get up, get a nice little meal, come to the gym, work. I just shoot around, do something light to stay off my, my feet. I don't want to beat up my body too bad. And then during game days, we usually come up here and uh, have a meal with the team, uh, shoot around. We sit in the lobby, and I mean not the lobby, our little lounge room, and we play pool, and the guys just chill and joke around, and that's about everyday life. Continue to play basketball. I don't know at which level, but just try to play as long as I can until my body just falls apart. You see him charge the field before every football game. But who is the mass rider? The Double T Insider goes one-on-one -on -one with Corey Wagner. My name is Corey Wagner. I am the 52nd mass rider to represent the university. 
every mass rider deserves for one year. They start the job in April and they retire in April. I've always been a tech fan growing up in Lubbock, so whenever I got to the university and I started working the program, I realized how special it was and how open it was to any student that really wanted to do the job. The horse's name is Fearless Champion. It was a big deal uh, because certainly riders before me, they were able to work with the veteran horse, so I had the rookie horse, so it was a new rider and a new horse, and we kind of had to learn together and stuff. And He's been fun to work with all year round. He's been excellent, honestly, so he hasn't had any real problems. And I hope that his experience this year will, a positive experience this year will just lead to more as he progresses. Of course, the horse is under my care completely for the year I serve. I feed him twice a day. I ride him three or four times a week outside of appearances at football games. Right before the run starts, you know, during the national anthem, my heart starts increase, heart rate increases. The horse's heart rate increases. You can still hit, you can feel him starting to get ready. You know, he's very smart. He knows his run very well. So when we go to do the run, it's just honestly my first run. I kind of happens so fast. You don't, it happens so fast. You don't really get to enjoy it. So luckily, you get to do it several more times to really feel it out. But it's just quite an experience. And, it's a lot of excitement and a lot of fun. Tradition for the program is very important. If you really look back at it, the look has stayed relatively the same over the last recent 15, 20 years. The tradition of the program was really fun. You know, this started at the 1954 Gator Bowl. Uh, Texas Tech was playing Auburn at the time. The mass rider, um, Joe Kirk Fulton, made his first appearance as the mass rider out there and he led the team out onto the field. Um, you know, as a tradition, it's really rich there. I'm the 52nd out of 60 years of tradition, so it's kind of an elite group of riders, really, for the university of the hundreds of thousands of students that graduate from Texas Tech. Only, you know, 52 so far have actually been the mass rider. It's a, it's a big honor, honestly, because you know, Texas Tech is very, very proud of their tradition. They are very well known across the nation, and to know that you're the man behind the mask for the symbol that's on everybody's shirt, or the Mass Rider program symbol and the Mass Rider itself is as well known as the double T. So knowing that you're as well known as the university, that's really a big deal. It's a, it's a really big honor to know that I have the opportunity to represent the university. After the break, we're coming back with Don't Sweat the Technique. And later, Luke Heath brings you our best tweets of the week. But first, here's this week's Texas Tech trivia question. Which Red Raider basketball player has led the team in scoring the most games this season? Your options are A, Jordan Tolbert, B, Jay Crockett, C, Dion Kravich, or D, Dusty Hannas. The answer to the Texas Tech trivia question of the week will be coming up later in the show. Stay tuned, because after the break, we're coming back with more of the Double T Insider. This is you. You want to be a director in Hollywood? Maybe you want to capture someone's attention on a 30-second spot. Maybe you'd rather be a social media manager, or you want to sit behind the world news desk. You can do that here at the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University with a degree in advertising, electronic media, journalism, media strategies, or public relations. From here, it's possible. Welcome back to the Double T Insider. This week, we join Minta Spears on the court for Don't Sweat the Technique. Hello and welcome to Don't Sweat the Technique. I'm Brett Brown and today we're here with Minta Spears who's going to be teaching me how she does a layup, a free throw, and her famous three-point shot. How are you doing today, Minta? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing good, I'm a good. little nervous, you know. I'm you see, earlier you were dribbling around the ball. I watched you at practice, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know, I have to go up against her. She's going to teach me everything. So, are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay, what do you want to start so, with? Well, let's start with a, with a layup. So, have you played basketball before? I, I did a little bit when I was a freshman in high school, but I, I haven't done anything since then, so I don't have a lot of experience. <laughs> okay, so it's been a little while, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to start with a layup. So, when you shoot a layup, you want to aim for, like, right inside the top corner of the backboard of the square, okay? And you're, we're going to shoot a right hand layup. Are you right handed? Yes. Okay, so we're going to shoot a right hand layup. You're going to shoot it with your right hand, and you're going to step with your left. Okay, so some people like call it like a puppet, so you just, you know, like this. Okay, so, layup. 
Okay, your turn to try it. Yes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, right. nice. So that's a layup. Now, do you want to attempt it with your left hand? I'll give it a try. You want to attempt it? Okay, so same thing on this side. Okay. But you're going to jump off your right, but you got to shoot with your left. Because okay. if, if not in a game, especially last year, Brittany Grinder's playing, she's going to block it to the other end, okay? So you got to shoot with your left hand. So here, left hand layup. Okay. Step a right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we got the layups down. All right. Okay, so next thing I guess we can do free throws. Okay, so funny story in high school. <laughs> I used to go between my legs on my free throw routine. You used to do so I, No, no, no. So I used to go here oh. and shoot it. Okay. But then I came to college and I was like, oh, I'll just go crossover. <laughs> okay, so. The reason I say that, you need to find a routine that you're good at, so you do the same routine every time. So right now, I do crossover, dribble, and shot. Okay, you got something in mind? I think I got something. Okay. Okay, oh yeah, spin. Oh, almost, almost. We gotta do one more, we gotta do one more. You got it. <laughs> no pressure. Yes. Yeah. Nice shot. Okay. Awesome. So you got the you got you have you can do a layup and a free throw. So you want to learn three point shot? Yes. Okay. I hear you have a very interesting form when it comes to your I do. I do. Um so ever since I was little until my junior year of high school, I used to like shoot it with two hands. Mm -hmm. So I'd shoot it and it would like, I would do something weird and it would just like go up in a weird way. <laughs> so like now, it's mainly just one handed like that. Okay. And so it is a little different, but um, I mean, I've practiced it so much that it most of the time goes in. So, um, well, that's what matters. <laughs> yeah. So it, it is a little different. So my shot, I just have basically my left hand's all the way out of it. So just my right hand. Okay. So you want to try? All right. Here we go. Oh, almost, almost, almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's it. Nice. Good shot. <laughs> okay, so you have a three-point shot down. Those are the three. That's a layup free. That. A layup free throw and a three. I really appreciated you teaching me some of the skills you have out here on the court. And you guys should come out here as well. Catch the girls playing here in the USA. My name is Brett Brown. This has been Don't Sweat the Technique here with Minta Spears. Thank you very much. Thanks. This week, the Double T Insider goes on the clock with Red Raider softball player Brittany Lee. Here what Brittany can't wait to cross off her bucket list. Double T Insider here, and we're about to go on the clock with Brittany Lee, a game where I give her 10 scenarios that she has to answer to the best of her ability, all within 60 seconds. All right, Brittany, are you ready for this? I guess, yeah. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock, please. One celebrity I would love to have dinner with is? David Cook. My favorite song right now is? Oh, what? <laughs> uh, the Man. The last movie to make me cry was? When Harry Met Sally. Favorite superhero as a kid was? Superman. And what would I buy if I won the lottery? First thing. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A new puppy. I don't know. If you could play any other sport, what would it be? Basketball. Something you can't wait to cross off your bucket list is? Go to all MLB fields in one summer. If you could travel anywhere in the world, it would be to? Oh, gosh. The Bahamas. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chipotle. Your favorite candy is? Starburst. All right, congratulations, <laughs> you beat the clock. <laughs> for the Double T Insider, I'm Caitlin Kravick, and we just went on the clock with Brittany Lee. After the break, we're coming back with our best tweets of the week. But first, let's take another look at the Texas Tech trivia question. Have you figured out the answer to the Texas Tech trivia question yet? 
Earlier we asked, which Red Raider basketball player has led the team in scoring in the most games this season? Your options were A, Jordan Tolbert, B, Jay Crockett, C, Dion Kravich, or D, Dusty Hannas. If you haven't figured out the answer yet, we'll give you some more time to think it over. The correct answer to the Texas Tech trivia question of the week will be revealed later in the show. Stay tuned, because there's more Double T Insider coming up after the break. This is you. You want to be a director in Hollywood? Maybe you want to capture someone's attention on a 30-second spot. Maybe you'd rather be a social media manager, or you want to sit behind the world news desk. You can do that here at the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University with a degree in advertising, electronic media, journalism, media strategies, or public relations. From here, it's possible. Each week for the Double T Insider, we pick the best tweets about Texas Tech athletics and air them on our show. This week, we're featuring tweets about Red Raider basketball and Red Raider baseball. Tech student Danielle Cogman tweeted, proud of our basketball team. That's how we do it. Hashtag RecDOSU and hashtag guns up. And tech student Rachel McClellan tweeted, so proud of my fellow New Mexican Jay Crockett and the rest of the men's team on an amazing game last night. Hashtag RecDOSU and hashtag Reckham. And tech student Jordan Whitson tweeted, I don't know if I'm more excited about Friday being Valentine's Day or opening day for Texas Tech baseball. And check back with us next week for more tweets when yours could just be the one chosen. With another week in the books, here's what's on schedule this week for Texas Tech Athletics. On Tuesday, Red Raider basketball will take on number seven Kansas at the United Spirit Arena. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. and can be seen on the Big 12 Network. On Friday, Red Raider Baseball opens up the Brooks Wallace Memorial Series at Rip Griffin Park with a three-game series against Oral Roberts. First pitch for Friday's game is at 2 p.m. Texas Tech men's and women's tennis will travel to Montgomery, Alabama Friday to compete in the Blue-Gray National Tennis Classic. Their competitions and times are to be announced. On Saturday, Red Raider Basketball will be on the road in Stillwater to take on Oklahoma State. The Red Raiders defeated the then 19th ranked Cowboys at the United Spirit Arena February 8th. Tip-off is set for 12.30 p.m. and can be seen on the Big 12 Network. Red Raider Baseball continues the Brooks Wallace Memorial Series with the game against Oral Roberts at 2 p.m. Texas Tech Track and Field will travel to Notre Dame, Indiana Saturday to compete in the Alex Wilson Invitational. Events are scheduled to last all day. On Sunday, Red Raider Baseball concludes the three-game series with Oral Roberts at Rip Griffin Park. First pitch is set for 1 p.m. Lady Raider Basketball returns to the United Spirit Arena Sunday to take on Oklahoma State. First tip is set for 2 p.m. and can be seen on FSN. And finally, here's the answer to the Texas Tech trivia question of the week. It's time to reveal the answer to the Texas Tech trivia question of the week. The question was, which Red Raider basketball player has led the team in scoring the most games this season? Your options were A, Jordan Tolbert, B, Jay Crockett, C, Dion Kravich, or D, Dusty Hannas. The correct answer is B, Jay Crockett. Nearly twice as much as the closest teammate, Jay Crockett has led the Red Raiders in scoring 13 of the 22 games this season. This has been your Texas Tech Trivia Question of the Week. If you didn't get this week's question right, no worries. Next week we'll be back with more Texas Tech Trivia, along with another edition of the Double T Insider. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of the Double T Insider. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in on Wednesday for our DTI weekly update on Texas Tech Athletics. And as always, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and go to youtube.com slash double T insider to watch all of our episodes. For Caitlin Kravick, I'm Brett Brown. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.